Welcome to the EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Dhriti Ray, Assistant Professor in the Department of Museology, University of Calcutta. Today we will know about the museum, its meaning, its scope and its various function. Museum is a building in which object of historical, scientific, artistic or cultural interest are stored and exhibited. The word museum has classical origin. It has been derived from a Greek word which means the seat of muses and designated as a philosophical institution or place of contemplation. The modern word museum is the Latin derivation of the museo word and it was widely used since the Roman time uh, as a philosophical discussion place. The word museum was derived in 15th century Europe to describe the collection of Lorenzo di Medici in Florence. Later on, the word museum used during 19th and most of the 20th century denoted a building housing cultural material to which public had access. So come to the meaning of museum, what the museum actually means to us. It is the storehouse of antique object of history and heritage. It may be in-house or open air or virtual. It cares, conserve object and display objects for the common people and it works for the society. So in a nutshell, this is the meaning of a museum. Now come to the scope of museum. First of all, we will know about the definition of museum. So what is, how it is, it can be defined? ICOM, International Council of Museums, in 2007 defines museum in its article 2, para 1 as a museum is a non-profit permanent institution in the service of society and its development open to the public which acquires, conserves, researches, communicates and exhibits the tangible and intangible heritage of humanity and its environment for the purpose of education, study and enjoyment. So later on, uh, museum defined by the several organization, but in a museum field, this definition is considered by the every organization. Before uh, 2007 and since the inception of ICOM, several definition was coined by the ICOM and in 2001, that they, they de derive, uh, they define museum uh, in, a, their, in their statement and included many organization as a museum. And these are natural, archaeological and ethnological monuments and sites and historical monuments and sites and that serve like museum that acquires, conserves and con communicate material evidence of people and their environment. They included many such organization under the definition of museum and they considered this organization as the museum. Like another uh, organizations are natural habitat or natural reserves, uh, institution holding collection of displaying the sp live specimen, uh, zoological garden, aquarium and vivaria, science centers and planetaria, non-profit art exhibition galleries, nature reserves, conservation institute and exhibition galleries, international or national or regional or local museum organization, ministries or department or public agencies responsible for museum as per the definition given under the article. So, according to this 
definition and inclusion they uh, icom included those organization which behaves like a museum in terms of acquisition of object in terms of preservation and in terms of interpretation so icom con considered these organization like museum so they included this organization under the definition of a museum so now we are following the definition of museum as it is coined in the year 2007 and also considered these organization as museum under the definition of 2001 likewise several uh, non-profit institutional organization undertaking conservation research education training documentation and other activities relating to museum and museology are also considered as museum like NRLC National Research Laboratory for Conservation intact this organization are also acting like a museum and the advertise uh, the executive council after seeking the advice of the advisory committee considered as having some or all of the characteristics of a museum or as supporting museums and professional museum personnel through museological research education and training these are the basic thing which considered under the museum now after understanding what is the meaning of museum what is the definition of museum now come to the scope of museum what is the scope of a museum and how it can be derived and how it can be uh, um, formulated and who approved the scope let's come to see one by one scope of the museum is a standalone planning document of a museum that succinctly defines the purpose of its collection why a museum need to collect something why museum need to preserve something so these all these are the basic things are required to document in a proper way and this is considered as the scope of museum what a museum can do with its collection with his locality advantage with his uh, and uh, heritage building or whatever may be it has the linked with the heritage and what how far it can serve for the development of society for the people and these are the mainly the basic thing of defining a scope of a museum so it is referenced in museum resource planning long-range interpretive planning document that may affect, affect the collection of museum object or their use basis of the de determination of the scope of a museum is to is depends upon the aims mission and vision of the museum whatever the aims of a museum based on that the museum personnel derive the scope of a museum it also depends upon the nature of collection and related information that collection has like the research and documentation of object designing education program gallery and exhibition planning periodic maintenance of object developing museum publication all based on the all of this the scope of a museum is derived a along with this few advantages are there in case of museum so, suppose a museum is look housed in a urban area or rural area or a, or an area where which is surrounded by many academic institutions so in such cases the scope of a museum has to be derived according to the is location now come to the necessity of the scope of museum document so it is very important to know what is the use of this scope of museum document what is the necessity of this document and what a museum can do with this document so uh, I hope you have understand what is the scope what is the basis what are the basis of scope of a museum document now come to the 
necessity of the scope of museum document. It actually describe about the museum's collection section wise. It helps to plan activities for the public, volunteers, donors, management. It is the roadmap in evaluating new acquisition, budgeting, prioritizing, resources and overall planning and management of collection, useful in justifying donation, refusal, etc. And um, along with this, it helps museum to decide on selective acquisition for hands-on use and on deaccessing. It also helps in financial planning, including manpower, cost, curation, maintenance, storage, security, inventory control, and energy cost. It helps to maintain higher ethical standard followed by the appropriate legislation of the country. So, hope you understand what is the necessity of a scope of museum document. It you you see the entire function that depend upon the scope of this document. It requires to formulate to plan the each and every activities right from the acquisition of object, the storage of object, display technique, its management, its manpower, its, uh, um, its preserve care and preservation. So entire thing related with the this scope of museum document. Now, let's see who prepares and approves the scope of museum statement. Somebody should be there in museum to de design the scope of museum document. Some expertise is required to design the scope of museum document. Actually, mainly the curator of the or the other experienced museum professional plan this scope of museum document based on their collection, their location and uh, their expertise, their, uh, their every activity that they can perform, their present expertise, knowledge, etc. So, curator based on all these factors define or develop a scope of museum document. These documents are then placed to the expert. Expert means the either archaeologist, uh, anthropologist or any museum related expert, educationist who has the immense knowledge about this museum functioning, museum activities, etc. These, they review this document and finalize it. And after finalization, this document is then placed to the director our board of trustee for final approval. Generally, the higher authority like the director, the secretary curator or the director general finally approve this document after all, after the scrutinizing it from every angle. And now come to what is the scope of museum collection, scope of collection statement. It is a comprehensive collection plan it specifically defines the types of object a unit collects and why it does so. It describes what the collection includes, what to add, what not to add and what may need to remove from the collection. So all are related with the scope of collection document. It generally includes title page, table of content, executive summary of museum, brief summary of, a, of the collection, declaration of the purpose of the section, major interpretive themes, topic and on time period of the collection like cultural group, represented geographical boundaries, notable person, historical event, etc. And along with this, it also includes uh, um, content like history of uh, collection, collection contain summary and use of collection, relationship with other related museum nearby, collection development, collection management goal, additional planning document used and people consulted and after all the conclusion. So in a collection 
document statement, you will find the entire thing, entire briefing about a museum. Starting from its title, its purpose, its collection, its nature, its scope, the expertise. It is a complete policy statement based on which and is a blueprint for any museum organization based on which a museum works. So now uh, you come to the uh, based on the scope of collection, each and every museum functions accordingly. Now come to the function of museum, what a museum actually works for the benefit for the people or for itself like administrative function, curatorial function and for the public service function. So let's see one by one what a museum functions actually apart from the display of exhibit what the common people see uh, while going to the visiting the museum they only see the uh, exhibition of, of objects but museum has number of functions that it performs regularly the first and important function is the collection of objects. Without collection, no museum can survive. So first and prime function of a museum is to collect object which has historic scientific value and antique value. So that, that's why a museum is considered as the storehouse of object or the storehouse of wonder. So the function of museum primarily the collection which depends on the collection of heritage since as a custodian of the heritage of the society. It collects objects through various modes like purchase, gift, loan, exchange, exploration, ex excavation, treasure trove, gift, bequest etc. Each museum authority adopts and publishes a written statement of his collection policy. Collection in museum depends upon the mission, vision and objectives of the museum and also on the needs of research, education, conservation, preservation of evidences of natural and cultural heritage. A museum must not collect anything that is theft smuggled or very much fragile. So depending on this, all this fact, a museum decide what to collect, what not to collect and according to this, its mission, vision and scope. So this is the first and important function of any museum. Next function is to preservation and conservation of this collected object. As you know, the museum is the custodian of heritage. So the responsibility comes to museum to preserve scientifically these objects so that people generation after generation can view it, can know about it and can see the wonder of our heritage. So objects need regular care as every object is subject to deterioration due to spontaneous change in environment and subsequent physiochemical factors. Regular care is required in both display and storage following the preventive conservation or curative conservation wherever needed. Museum practices various preservation techniques which are exclusively object specific to protect them from attack of organism like fungus, insect, rodent, etc. and damage from humidity, temperature and light source and intensities. After collection and scientific preservation and con conservation, the another important function of museum is to document the object which, which were collected from various sources. So the documentation is to is the procedure of record keeping in various mode. Documentation uh, starts from the entry register, 
entering the name and particulars of, of an object into the entry register, accessing, cataloging and indexing with photo images. It is considered as one of the main administrative function of any museum. It is very important to document objects with authentic information after necessary research and consultation. It facilitates in knowing and provenance, identification, composition and necessary treatment of object. Now various softwares of international standard is available to document museum object digitally and to keep record not only for museum it itself but as an online resource to know about country's position. So hope you understand why what is the necessity of it, this documentation and without documentation no museum can tell anything about any object or can provide any authentic or concrete information to its visitors. So now after collection, preservation and documentation, the prime another important function comes that is the research. Without research, no museum can perform better for the public, better in display, in preservation, in storage and education. So for everything, museum need to research properly. So research is another important function of a museum and it is nowadays it is very much essential to establish museum as a center or an institution of educational interest or the informal center of education. So research is done for authentic documentation, developing museum publication, proper care and conservation, dissemination of information regarding each object, display of an exhibition and also to serve research scholar as ready reference. So whatever museum shall offer or do, it is based on the complete research work to, so, to give a valuable information to the visitors. So, now come to, after research activities, now come to the exhibition. As you know that every museum exhibit object to the people and people go uh, to museum to see something at first and to know something. So exhibition is another essential function of museum because museum since its inception was the remain the center of exhibition whatever it collects. Uh, every museum exhibit object by forming permanent galleries or organizing temporary exhibition. Museums sometimes send their objects on a mobile exhibition through its museum bus to reach people at distant location. Museums also send objects for exhibition at a museum situated in another cities or countries as traveling exhibition. So for exhibition, museum need to plan the theme, the, it need to present, develop a gallery with the help of different uh, display aids to make an object as an exhibit, to make it presentable, to make it more informative so that people can get the knowledge about an uh, exhibit and get entertained from that exhibit. So in this way, exhibition is another important function of any museum. As you know that museum, every museum preserve objects which has very antique value or which are very much precious. So an important function of museum is also to keep the security to all these objects. So the security is another important function of museum. Museum collection uh, and stores um, require adequate security arrangement. Strong security system needs to develop by museum against vandalism, fire, theft, burglary and natural disaster. Sometimes two, three tire of security system is followed in museum both in galleries and stores. 
Latest equipment like alarms, closed circuit television are used. Security is controlled as um, controlled by expert expert officials and uh, security force as well as the disasters management team. It the function is very much essential to protect our objects of heritage and the precious object from any kind of theft or burglary incident as well as from any kind of damage. So in this way museums works for, for starting from the collection, preservation, storage, uh, display, exhibition, education and the security. So all these functions are very much aligned with each other as the, they collect the very precious objects, it needs security, it needs protection, all these functions are interlinked to each other. Apart from collection, preservation, storage uh, and security and exhibition, museum has another kind of functions like the publication of uh, Publica like publication of uh, a scholarly uh, journal and different museum uh, publications. Uh, museum generally publishes two kind of materials. One is popular publication and another one is scholarly publication. Popular publication includes leaflet, fo uh, brochure, folders, um, art album, etc. And in case of scholarly publication, it includes journal, newsletter, etc. So these are also the regular function of museum, where museum publishes is different about the information of different kind of museums to the um, common people or for the research scholar. This is entirely a research activity of a museum publication. Tip. Apart from publication, museum has a very significant function about education and knowledge dissemination. Now you see museum is treated as an education center and the center for knowledge dissemination. Earlier it was act as an organization for exhibition. Now it is treated as the organization for education and knowledge dissemination. Museum at the time of inception in 3rd century BC in Alexandria was a place for philosophic discussion. Since then it remains the place for knowledge dissemination on the subject it is established for. Today people visit museum to see the wonders and get knowledge. It supports people as an informal education center for disseminating knowledge on art, history, science and technology through the material and non-material evidences. So it is another important function of museum to develop itself in such a way that it can serve society through knowledge dissemination. Public services, museum has so many public services like it organizes various activities targeting specific group. Science centers and museums run daily shows on the various areas of science and technologies in addition to the static exhibition. The service provides enjoyment, entertainment and encourage repeated visit being a popular tourist destination like Science City and BITM in Kolkata. Museums on art and history also shows videos and documentaries like Kolkata Police Museum. It shows a documentary on the history of Kolkata Police. In this way, museum serve different different program to the people, common people or the visitors. In addition to this uh, public services, museum also organizes several workshops cultural program, activities like sit and draw, quiz, model making, painting and many innovative activities. Museum targets school students, orphan, women or interested group etc. Participants get entertained and knowledge and also get a chance to know more about heritage looking at the real evidences. 
In addition to the public service, museum also runs various outreach activities. Museums serve its community through its outreach initiative in many innovative ways and taking it as, an, as one of its priority of work. Museums send their museum bus to the remote location to show a mobile exhibition on a particular theme to aware people either on a relevant subject or on the natural and cultural heritage of the locality or country. Museums are coming forward to assist women of self-help group and artist community in promoting the folk art and craft making. They also serve um, in-house operation and visiting the field, meeting artists, common folk of rural areas and taking initiative in preserving the intangible heritage like folk lores, folk tales, folk dance etc. Varad Lok Kala Mandal Udaipur in Rajasthan and Guru Shadar Museum in Kolkata. These are the two museums which works on preserving the rural folk culture of India. Apart from these functions, museum also organize regular lectures, workshop and seminars. And this is the very regular activity of any museum. Here museum uh, invite eminent expert to share his or opinion in the field of heritage and culture or on a specific subject area concerned with the museum. These are the scholarly activity of any museum that helps museum professional to enhance their knowledge and also help researchers to providing the additional information or latest research development. It is also the initiative of museum where the experts and researchers share their findings to each other that fosters the gross knowledge base within the research community. So in this way, hope you understand the meaning, the uh, definition, function of museum. So, uh, so as a whole, museum means an organization that store objects of both natural and cultural heritage, cares and provides necessary conservation support required to object in both display and storage. It exhibits objects for the knowledge of common people. Museum professional develops scope of work related to collection and service to the community, function as per the policy to fulfill its mission and vision, it is now more a service provider rather than a static display house. So in this way, museum works for the common people. So if you know more about the museum, its meaning, definition and function, you visit the EPG Partshala website and you can get the detail about this presentation. Thank you.